We begin tonight getting results from an 11 Alive investigation that's finding answers for the family of a man killed in a fire in Fulton County. So the victim's badly burned body has gone identified for months now, but the forensic genetic genealogy is getting answers for the family. Don White joins us now with a story you'll only see right here on 11 Alive. And Don, how does all of this work? Ron and Jennifer, this is a cotton swab and it made it all possible after DNA testing of a family member showed a close relationship to the victim. We first told you about this technology in an 11 Alive investigation that solved a four decades old cold case in Gwinnett County. Investigative reporter Kristen Crowley got in touch with the Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office who thought this would be the perfect case for the emerging technology. <laughs> It was a one victim that they had found in the debris and they were unable to identify him. This fire along Oak Drive in South Atlanta in January of this year left the man found inside unrecognizable. And there's really nothing left, no information or anything. Dr. David the Middleman, the CEO of Orthrum, says someone who thought the victim may be a family member came forward. When we did the comparison work, we found out that in fact it was uh, that person they thought it was, and it ended up being uh, this black man who was, I believe, 59 years old at the time that he had died, and his name was uh, Zachary Wells. A new technique called forensic genome sequencing gave the family some closure. This is probably the most amazing thing that's happened in forensic science from the perspective of DNA testing since the late 80s. Middleman says standard DNA technology collects 20 markers, but in forensic genetic genealogy, which Orthrum uses, hundreds of thousands of markers are identified. Folks are sending us either like a skeletal remains or they'll send us, you know, some kind of a piece of tissue. Um, sometimes there's some blood that's recovered at a scene. The victim's DNA is compared to his or her own DNA if it's available. If not, a family member can provide a sample. If we can figure out, you know, a little bit more information about historical origins, distant relatives, and piece together clues. The company Orthrum is currently working on identifying more unknown people in Georgia. That includes Fulton Cobb and Gwinnett counties.